northwest corner of Minnesota, we have a selection from the train archive of Gary Anderson. Today we'll start on uh, vinyl floor trains, push trains. Uh, this is Lido, and I have 10 sets, mostly color variations and extra pieces. And if you notice this one, it's a wind-up, and there's uh, elusive uh, flat cars, and there's a wind-up, and like I say, mostly color variations. Uh, we'll be seeing some more different ones tomorrow. That one's got the hole for the motor, the slot the key slot but no uh, no no motor and some of them don't that one does not yesterday when we looked at trains uh, vinyl trains we looked at Lido first and this is a Lido set today we're gonna look at what's called the big flash and there's only no I did have not found any color variations but if you look the cars are you know, tenders the same. Reporting marks on the hopper car are the same reporting marks. Uh, cabooses look the same and the wheels are the same. Except the wheels, they are, uh, there's a little hole in the bottom where you could slip the axle into and the big flash does not have that hole or does not have that little cut in it. So they are modified. Uh, dies. Two days, this is the vinyl set, two days ago we looked at this, these Lido sets and then we looked at Big Flash. Today we're going to look at Playwell which is the same dies and but they're not open, there's no cut on the open to of the side truck to hold the axles, the one piece axles. Uh, and the colors, there's a different color hopper, and they all say fireball on them. You'll have to remember this for tomorrow. And this is flash line fireball, and this is play well. Now the engine has a number on it, 229, whereas the Lido does ha not have that number. Uh, and I have yet to find one. There's a bell holder in front of the engine. I've yet to find one that has a bell. There we are. We started this series with the Lido lines. These are vinyl trains, push trains, all using similar, if not exact same dies. Now we'll go to Renwall, which as the one before us has the fireball and the flash line names on the, on the cars. And the engine still has that 229, so this is very similar to the Playwell sets ahead of us. Uh, and a little color variations. And then throw this in. Uh, this is by Payton, P-A-Y-T-O-N, but it's got flash line, it's got fireball. So there's the Payton name. This is the last of the vinyl sets. This is the Tico, and this is uh, number 901, and uh, black engine, uh, battery driven, there's track, uh, accessories, and same thing, another battery set, box one, with little different colors, and there's one more, different colors. Then we go over to a little bigger box set. Uh, same thing, battery operated. That one's got a little railway sign. And the important Tico toys. 
Here's another different color, not a boxed, a loose set. And here's the very hard to find army set uh, that Cannon has broke. This is extremely difficult to find. So this is the end of the vinyl sets. And here's a bag of accessories. One last vinyl plastic set. This is a Lincoln International uh, smash proof polyethylene, polythene battery electric remote control train set. These are very similar to the Tico. Uh, as if it says Lincoln on it. And uh, remote control, hours of safe, fascinating play running your own railway in the playroom. I'm guessing this is made overseas somewhere. It's got a battery box, forward, reverse. And I have a second set, a little ratty, but if you take a look, it says Gerard. Uh, Martin, reference model 2751. Uh, Gerard Martin, reference model received from New York 91561. So this is, uh, unless I find more, this is the last of the plastic vinyl sets. Patrick operated four trains.